This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the Health Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. Today on the program, we're speaking with Giannis Varelis. He is the founder and CEO of Olira, the fastest growing natural breakfast biscuits brands in the USA. Giannis is originally from Greece and brought his family's recipes and secrets to the U.S. to help us all with our own health. You got to like the sounds of this. And Giannis, thanks for joining us here today. I'm super excited to be with you, Eric. Thank you. You're more than welcome and thankful for your time as well. So for starters, how did you come up with the concept for the Olira brand of snacks? Let's start there. Hmm. So um, as you mentioned, I'm from Greece. I grew up in Greece and my family owns a family business, a flour mill. So um, it is a heritage business. We've been in the farming and milling of grains for over one century. So I am practically the fifth generation of the family business. And I grew up in an environment where uh, family business was always a topic of discussion during our, our, our family lunches or dinners or gatherings. So practically, I grew up um, uh, that everyone was around, everything was around the farming and milling of grains. So. Um, I then studied chemical engineering and practically I, I nourished myself into the science of nutrition and formulations. So when I uh, started working for our family business, I thought, OK, how can we use uh, our knowledge and our resources and also combine it with my uh, with my background, but bring something new to the market? So we saw that Belvita had created a very big new category, the breakfast biscuits category. And it was obvious that the category that was aiming to uh, breakfast on the go, what they created, uh, they, they, they had proof of concept, but their products were, uh, were not healthy. Let's call it as simply as this is, as you know. So um, we thought, OK, how can we actually create a good for you breakfast biscuits and then we that's what we did is we used we encapsulated as we like to call it the knowledge of our ancestors so we produced um, the first good for you breakfast biscuits based on four grains that were the foundation of ancient greeks diet certainly very interesting bringing your way of cooking to another country, the U.S., and I, I like this a lot. And, of course, uh, your way is more healthier than the U.S. way. I'll tell you that right now. Now, you are now in tons of health stores and grocery stores. Why is it important that your snacks stay healthy in ingredients? For us, health is about moderation, and it's about using uh, very simple, very pure, clean ingredients. Healthy ha- can have different uh, views for for different people. So for us, what we believe is healthy is as natural as possible, as less processed as possible, and with a very balanced nutritional profile. So that's what we stand for. That's what our products stand for, and that's what we believe uh, everyone should should consume. Now, as far as your biscuits are concerned, what has the feedback been on the taste of your natural biscuits? I'd be curious. Yeah, um, that's very interesting. So when we started, we started using initially um, flavors that were m- more towards um, our uh, heritage and our spices. So it, it was quite unique for the U.S. market. It was fig anise, hazelnut, carob. And these products were performing really well in the market and they had um, they had very good feedback from US customers but it was it, it was flavor profiles that they were not as familiar with that's why um, two years ago we launched uh, our sandwich breakfast biscuits that had a broader uh, flavor uh, taste appeal so we launched uh, uh, dark chocolate uh, filling and Greek yogurt and blueberry so for us it's important to understand that 
you need to come to obviously offer uh, healthy, good for you items, but also meet the needs of flavor and taste appeal of your customers. Again, it's quite interesting, and we are thankful for what you're doing and bringing healthy foods to market. We're always appreciative of that today. We're speaking with Giannis Varelis. He is the founder and CEO of Olira, the fastest-growing natural breakfast biscuits brands in the USA here on eHealth Radio's Health News and Nutrition Channels, a part of the eHealth Radio Network. Now, continuing on, what is the biggest difference between American and Greek eating cultures? So I would say the first the, the first uh, difference is that in Greece, we have our Mediterranean diet. So we are very, um, our diet is around, uh, has been here for, for centuries, and obviously it has been changing, but not as much. Uh, um, it hasn't been really changing a lot during during the years. Whereas in the United States, there are so many different diets, exactly because there are so many. Um, it, it's a fascinating country with so many different uh, uh, backgrounds. So the diet also, there are so many different uh, diets. So that's uh, American kitchen is basically a combination of different uh, other uh, kitchens. and. Um, it's a it's a newer kitchen, and that's why it's also very versatile. But also, it's very um, it's changing a lot. So we see a lot of Asian foods growing now. We see a lot of ethnic foods growing, uh, which is which is really interesting to me. Another obviously element is the um, uh, the packaged goods in the United States. The packaged goods in the United States are way more processed than they are in Greece. Um, and I think that's something that uh, Americans have realized the past decades, which is a great thing, and they are moving towards healthier options. Uh, this is something that cannot be done in a day, but uh, obviously it's moving in the right direction, step by step. Whereas I would say the opposite occurs in Greece. So in Greece, we don't really have um as much processed foods uh but we are instead of going towards more healthy items we have the opposite slightly direction we're st- we we are start we're moving towards more processed and unhealthy items excellent certainly some good information right there for sure also what new products are you launching next at olira anything we should be aware of or anything in the works oh we're we're super excited we're <laughs> We're working on a lot of uh, innovation. We just launched our cream filled breakfast biscuits, which is uh, filled with practically a crunchy breakfast biscuits encapsulated with a cream filling. So it has very different texture, com- the combination of crunchy and cream. So uh, we, we launched them actually a month ago and we are using the same technology of crunchy and creamy to introduce uh, fruit-filled breakfast biscuits. So most probably in Q3, we'll, uh, you'll see them in the market. Again, Giannis, thanks so much for joining us here today on eHealth Radio. We certainly are appreciative of what you do on behalf of Olira. Where can listeners shop around and uh, get more information on Olira as well? Of course, we are selling through Amazon, through our own uh, direct-to-consumer, where through our website, which is Uh, olirafoods.com you have the capability of selecting of customizing your bundle so selecting which which items you would like uh, whereas you don't have this customization capability through amazon and of course as always you can find the link to Alira right there in the show notes of this broadcast. Giannis, all the best. Keep doing what you're doing, and thanks for joining us here today on the Health Radio. Thank you very much, Eric. I wish you all the best. Hey, thanks for that. We've been speaking with Giannis Varela. He is the founder and CEO of Alira, the fastest-growing natural breakfast biscuits brand in the U.S. And for all the details, visit olirafoods.com. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the Health Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in.
Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com.